Hello and welcome back to the Unboxers and today we have for you some more awesome Star Trek Puzzle Fleet! Yes! <laughs> so we have two new um, ships that we're doing this time. Yes, these are part of the um, Quantum Mechanics Craftworks lines. And this one on the left is the... Yeah, so this is the original USS Enterprise NCC-1701, like from the original Star Trek series. And then the other one is the Klingon D7 Battlecruiser, also from the original Star Trek series. So we previously did done two others. We did two other um, starships. Probably yeah. part of the fleet. Yes. So we want to say a great big thank you to... Quantum Mechanics. For sending these to us for free to share with you today. So uh, let's go ahead and open up one of the packaging packages so we can show you how it comes pre-build. So there's the back of it. Shows you really cool that it's going to come with the stand that you can display it on. Just like the previous two. Okay, and so there is the instructions. Ta-da! So you have a step-by-step -step guide for instructions. And let's see here. Opening it up and showing you, it'll show you um, the numbers of the parts and each individual piece. It's kind of cool how all of this flat stuff turns into yes. a 3D model. So, and then here are your pieces. And yep. each one is... Like uh, two-sided, too. Yeah. yeah. So, you take all your pieces and they're all nicely numbered. Yeah. And punch them out. And so, I would, uh, I would suggest you leave the piece in there until you yeah. need it so that the number is right there yeah. for you. Um, and then these pieces, which you do not know, when you when you pop these out, what you're essentially going to do is turn it into a tube. It's going to like roll into a really cool little, um, that part of the ship. So that's really neat. All right. It's time to get to building these two ships and we'll come back and show you what they look like. We'll be right back. All right. And we're back. And by the magic of <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> video editing, they are put together. So let's go ahead. Let's take a look at the Klingon uh, D7 Battlecruiser first. We'll slide that off to the side. Um, I think the best way to show this off... So it does peg into its base. So it is pegged into the bottom right there. And you can see all the details underneath there as well. Um, let me show you something. There's that part, the detailing under there. The top of that ship. And then the sides with the little with the details across here. And the color little things there so it looks pretty cool and its base is like black with gray lines and it has the title i mean the uh the name of the ship right there so very cool you can have that on display just like that yeah so um i'm not super familiar with that um ship but i'm sure all star trek fans are um, so it's a re really neat looking chip. They got all the details on there and you can see all the details in this part up here. Um, I'm assuming they drive it from this part right here. Right. Mm -hmm. So very cool. All right. Let's slide that out of the way and make room for the USS Enterprise NCC 1701. So it's got that on the top of it. Um, and then it is like a tan color. You can tell... Like I was saying, those flat pieces like formed into these round ends right here and that round part right there. And then it has the title on here as well. It also, ah, this one actually sits atop of its base is what I was going to show you. There's like a bigger groove here with the big piece fits in and then there's like a little groove there. But very cool, very cool details. If I pick it up and show you there underneath, you can see all the details all even underneath of it yeah that so, is cool very cool and how you're they're able to take like everything started off flat right and then it's able to you know turn into these curved three-dimensional shapes right builds into these two awesome ships so we want to say another great big thank you to quantum mechanics for sending these to us for free to share with you today i definitely think these um would be a really cool um, addition to any Star Trek yeah, definitely. Um, lover, especially if you love to put together puzzles. This one said um, 14 plus, and that's because it does have all those intricate details and um, 
it does, you know, it, it's a nice, it does take time to build. Right. So it's kind of like that little mini project that you can be uh, satisfied to complete in sure. not too long of time. All right. So thank you so much for watching. As always, come back and see us. Like, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.